can. All right. So what was that text threat? What time did you get it at? Well, I received a text from my son at 1030, which was really suspicious because that was after everything seemed to be calming mm. down. And he said, no, mom, we are still in lockdown. Um, we are in code red. We are still in code red. We are barricading the doors. The lights are off. Um, and he was he was scared to death. And that was at 1030, which was very suspicious to me because I thought everything was calming down. Mm -hmm. And then just about two minutes ago, we re received a call from the high school and a text message that said there was a text threat at the high school that everybody is that they're on lockdown and that they're not letting anybody pick up. Everybody is supposed to be on standby. OK, and to clarify, is your son at the high school or the middle school? He's at the high school. OK, and is he a middle school student or a high school student? No, he's a high school student. OK, so what I mean, have you heard any other details from him since then? That's all I've heard. He just said that nothing is happening right now. Um, code red, lights off, um, and that he said something about SWAT. He said SWAT was in the school. Wow. As a mother, I, I mean, this is never the type of call or text you want to get. What, what, how are you feeling? Never. It's never. It's, it's something that's been a big conversation in our house um, as my son's getting ready to graduate. and. Um, to think that it's coming this close to home, I just can't even, I, I'm shaking, I'm just total disbelief that it's, that it's here, that it's here in Noblesville. And what information have you been getting from the school? The, the school has been amazing um, at communication as far as we're getting text messages. I've, this is probably the fifth text message I've gotten in the last hour and a half. Um, yeah, I've um, phone calls as well. So text message and phone calls, communication has been wonderful. And when can you go pick up your son, or when can your son come home? Have you gotten any? Well, we haven't heard text? anything. We haven't heard anything yet at the okay. on the high school students. He he will dismiss usually around one o'clock today. Um, we I have a, a nephew at the East Middle School, which um, they are currently on code yellow. I've been told, um, but we're not allowed to pick him up yet because they still have all the exterior doors locked and aren't letting any visitors come and go. And Shannon, what are you hearing from other parents in the community? I'm assuming that the uh, text messages have been flying between other moms and dads uh, trying to just gather information. Yes, it's just disbelief. It's disbelief, really. Um, we're getting ready to head out of the house right now and, and see if we can make our way towards the East Middle School. Um, but I can only imagine um, what everybody's feeling is probably what I'm feeling, if not worse. How, what kind of emotions is your son sharing with you? Does he feel comfortable at the high school right now, or what, what's going on there? He's scared. His text message that came into me at 1030 said that he was scared and he was shaking. Mm -hmm. And this is coming from an 18-year-old um, getting ready to graduate. So um, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. When he, when he texted first thing this morning after everything happened, it was, um, that, that his his peers, mm -hmm. um, his other classmates were crying because they had siblings that were over at the West Middle School. Um, so it's been a very emotional day at the high school as well today. Understandable. Any student, whatever age you're at, whatever mm -hmm. age you are in life, I just uh, the fear instilled with an action like this. Now we 